one of our youngest techs, um, or newest techs rather, had noticed that one of the samples that she was uh, working on kept giving flags saying that there was a clot in the tube. This is the second day in a row that this was happening. And she simply just took the tube and inverted it to see if there was a clot in there. And it wasn't clotted, it was a clear serum sample. But it stuck to the bottom of the tube when she inverted it, which is a red flag to say that this sample had gelled. Because of that, they stopped me as I was walking through the lab. and I went and looked at the tube and I said, that's kind of a problem, and took down the patient's medical record number, and looked at the chart and saw that the patient had a very high total protein, a low albumin, and the fact that the sample was gelled were red flags for us. So I was able to call the patient's clinician and have a conversation, and the clinician was like, you know, we've been having trouble figuring out why he doesn't feel well. He's been fine up until about three, four weeks ago, when he said he's just been really tired and sluggish and doesn't feel well. And so in that conversation, I was able to explain to him that because of this pattern of laboratory values and the fact that the sample was gelled, that it would be really advisable for him to do a protein electrophoresis study on the sample we already had. So he had Waldensum's macroglobulinemia, his um, IgM, uh, an immunoglobulin protein or an antibody protein, was sky high and his blood was viscous. And this was actually happening in him. And it's really a medical emergency. So with Waldenstrom's uh, macroglobulinemia, what it really means is that it's a cancer of the bone marrow. And so you have one population of cells that's taking over, and it's making this very large protein complex called IgM, or immunoglobulin M. And what can happen is with this big protein complex is that it essentially makes your blood very thick. And so your heart has to work very hard to push it through. And then because of that viscosity or the how sludgy, for a lack of a better term, the blood is, they get a lot of symptoms associated with that. Fatigue, more prone to clotting. Um, they could actually have serious and fatal consequences of this high protein concentration. His outcome could have been much more serious if he wasn't um, identified earlier and then treated so rapidly. Um, and really the reason that we have that treatment is we communicated from the technologist to me, to the clinician, the hematopathology group, the hematology oncology group, transfusion medicine. All of these people coming together and discussing at different time points, we were really able to uh, affect this patient's outcome much quicker. My name is Dr. Mark Servinsky and I'm an Associate Professor of Pathology and Laboratory Medicine at the Geisel School of Medicine at Dartmouth and the Director of Clinical Chemistry at Dartmouth-Hitchcock Medical Center uh, in Lebanon, New Hampshire.